Over the last several months, there has been a significant increase in the commercial motor vehicle traffic to the Okeechobee landfill. The majority of these trucks are hauling trash from Miami-Dade and contaminated soil from Fort Lauderdale. Waste management, who operates the Okeechobee landfill, is contracting with companies to dispose of these materials, and those contractors are subcontracting other companies to haul these materials. This equates to approximately 1,200 plus commercial motor vehicle trips to our Okeechobee landfill daily. So now our issues start. These haulers are paid by the tonnage delivered. So this relates to how much can I haul, how fast can I get there and back. There's a small percentage of these haulers that do not violate the traffic laws related to speed, unsafe weights, unsafe faulty equipment, and I feel a large majority of these haulers are violating the law and do not care. My opinion is based upon continued enforcement results of these haulers coming to and from Okeechobee. Coupled with the number of complaints received from my residents who reside along the road leading to and from the landfill. Enforcement was heightened in this area and was additionally funded by waste management as these were very concerning issues to them. Florida Highway Patrol provided additional troopers at my request. These enforcement efforts reflected numerous crashes due to excessive speed and extremely overloaded trucks, and some trucks were found to be over 100,000 pounds, which is 25% over their maximum allotted weight. Speed coupled with weight posed serious safety concerns as these trucks could not stop if they had to. Also, the residents of this area continue to report commercial motor vehicles continuously passing in no passing zones, not stopping at stop signs, pulling in front of oncoming traffic, and most concerning, passing school buses while the stop arms were deployed and picking up our children. This situation was not getting any better, so I had to enhance my efforts. I contacted Palm Beach County Sheriff Rick Bradshaw, Martin County Sheriff William Snyder, FHP Captain Stephen Gove, and FHP Captain Ryan Lloyd. I requested assistance in dealing with my concerns. Each of these agencies immediately committed resources, which is very much appreciated and a concentrated effort was coordinated by my Chief Deputy, Gary Bell. This morning, all the named previous agencies concentrated on commercial motor vehicle traffic in western Palm Beach County, western Martin County, and eastern Okeechobee County. We started this operation at 6 a.m. this morning. At about 6.20 a.m., we had a commercial motor vehicle hauling waste that was weighed in Palm Beach County that weighed 105,000 pounds. This was 17,000 pounds over their allotted 88,000 pound maximum weight limit. The overall enforcement report from this operation will be produced later this week. I have also met with the leadership of waste management to address these very issues. I feel that as long as the weights and these actions are condoned, they will continue. Waste management obligated to address these issues with their contractors for an immediate resolution. I hope to get the attention of these companies and the drivers before somebody gets hurt. I will continue enforcement in this area and elsewhere throughout the county to assure the safety of our citizens to the best of my ability. I'll supply you all with a copy of this report and I stand ready to answer any questions. The continued complaints from the residents you know, that reside within that area, it was a continuous ongoing problem that no matter how much enforcement I put out there, it was never enough. And it was all day long, every day. Sheriff, the one truck that, uh, the one truck driver that was driving that uh, 105,000 pound truck, what became of him and the truck? 
I don't know the exact disposition. A lot of the times they'll make them pull over to the side, make the changes to their load to get to the necessary weight before they move on. I assume that that's what happened this morning, but I don't know for sure. Ginger, what's your biggest concern? My biggest concern is somebody getting hurt because of these drivers trying to make money to haul trash and debris to the landfill. And I don't, I don't want to go to anybody's family and tell them that their loved one is no longer here because of somebody trying to make an extra dollar. What's the reaction of waste management now that you know, we've had a lot of trash, especially food trash coming from the state towns all the way up here? I mean, that four and a half hour drive here is just, just a ton of tons of soil. In, in meeting with the, the management and, and leadership of waste management, as I alluded to, they, they have been very understanding and they appear very concerned and they are dealing with their contractors that are hiring these drivers, these owner operators that are coming in and hauling. Understanding it's going to increase the truck traffic because they're not carrying as much, but safer traffic, slower traffic is more tolerable for everybody than what's currently happening. I talked to one of the FHP weight and measures individual officers last week and he had caught a truck on 70 East that had came up 95 from Miami and come east or west on 70 to get to the landfill. He was over, he, he got fined $900 for the overweight, I don't know the exact weight. Two days prior to he got stopped on Berman Road and got rode a $700 ticket. So it's apparent to me that they don't care, they're just getting paid by the tonnage. It's all about the dollar. Do you think that there should be more specific penalties for these, over, these overages? Because it sounds like $900 and the guy gets a half a dollar. They, I don't the, know, are they making more money on the dollar than that fine? It, it's, it's obvious to me as the law enforcement person that's re ultimately responsible in this county, the fines and fees are near not enough to get their attention. This operation's name is Weight Watchers. How long is the operation expected to run? It started at 7 a.m. or 6 a.m. this morning and will run till 3 o'clock this afternoon. What about beyond 3 o'clock this afternoon? Will, be, will this be an everyday effect? This will be a continued effort. As I said before, currently waste management pays for 24 hours a week for me to send an off duty from me, deputy, out to do strictly traffic enforcement of the 10 miles of stretch that these trash trucks are coming into our county on waste management's dime. And I think that's a good faith effort on their part to work on the enforcement as well. Have you tried to contact these companies that are you know, contracting with waste management yet? We have, um, but there's a communication um, barrier and you can't never seem to get anybody that wants to um, be responsible or address it. Because they keep on continuously telling me these are private contracted drivers. So there's no accountability, you know, and these drivers are getting paid by the load. So what's your message to the driver? Continue to speed, continue to run weights, and I'll eventually catch you. Last year you guys conducted Operation Truck Stop. How does this compare to that operation last year? Very similar thing, just a different name. It's just, uh, you know, it just, my residents get frustrated because they feel there's no enforcement that is happening. I don't lay there at night and get, can I, or could I sleep knowing that anybody's at risk, especially our children, when a parent sitting at the bus stop videoing one of these trucks running the stop arms while their child is trying to get on the bus. There's no excuse for that whatsoever. Indian River County is relatively close to here. I don't see them on the list. Have they come to you with a similar type of a problem and say, let's work together on this? Problem? Absolutely. Absolutely. And Sheriff Snyder and Sheriff Bradshaw didn't hesitate a bit to step up whenever I called them, which any Florida sheriff, you know, we got a good brotherhood and camaraderie and a few of the ladies that are sheriffs, you know, if anybody needs something, you pick up the phone and call and we'll help one another.